Today is Juneteenth, a holiday commemorating the emancipation of enslaved people in the U.S. This weekend is full of celebrations across the Circle City. The Juneteenth Food Waste Festival kicks off tomorrow for the second year. WRTV's Amber Grigley shows us how it's adding a flavorful spin to the Juneteenth experience. I don't know, it just makes my heart feel full. It makes my soul happy. So there's an old saying that food is good for the soul. The Big County is topped with my signature sauce. And when it comes to celebrating Juneteenth, food is an important part of the tradition. I'm trying to figure out how black American cuisine adds to the traditional American cuisine throughout the years. For the second year, nearly 30 black owned restaurants and vendors will fill the front lawn of the Benjamin Harrison presidential site for the Juneteenth Food Waste Festival. We had a great turnout with over 1100 attendees for 2022, our inaugural year. We have sold out almost 2000 tickets for this year and we have a waiting list. The festival explores a hidden piece of history during President Benjamin Harrison's presidency. Well, he appointed the first black chef in the White House, Laura Dolly Johnson, a Kentucky native in the late 1800s, just a few years after Juneteenth was first celebrated. He actually fired a French chef, a renowned French chef, because he wanted something a little bit more home style with Dolly Johnson's cooking. She had her own restaurants and businesses in Lexington, Kentucky, heard about her fired his friendship, hired her. And to pay homage to Dolly Johnson, each vendor participating in the festival will recreate some of Johnson's most famous recipes. Well, of course, they have hot dogs. We have Polish sausage. We have beef Polish sausage. We have smoked sausage. And we'll also have walking tacos. Now that's Natasha Williams, owner of the Coney Lady. I found my niche in hot dogs about three years ago. Um, while still in college, I decided that I really wasn't ready to traditionally return back to the workforce. So I tried my thing, handled a lot of things, and one Friday I had a Coney sale, and it sold out. Williams has been participating in the Food Waste Festival since its inaugural year. Well, this year she's recreating Dolly Johnson's cold slaw. When she introduced this recipe, it was cold, cold slaw. We now know it today as cold slaw, and I followed her recipe, so it's different and it's secret and I'm going to keep it in my pocket. William says the strength of Dolly Johnson is encouraging and is a journey worth admiring for all. The help has turned to the heroes. I think it's amazing that we have a space for us. Finally, I think it's amazing. I think it's well deserved and we're worth it. We worked a long time and we work very hard. So I think we are worthy of this recognition and worthy of this national holiday. In Indianapolis, I'm Amber Grigley, WRTV. The Juneteenth Food Waste Festival is tomorrow from 3.30 to 8 p.m. at the Benjamin Harrison Presidential site. To see a full list of the participating vendors, visit our website and search for this story. As a reminder, Juneteenth was designated as a federal holiday in 2021. That means many banks and other businesses will likely be closed on Monday.